Well, hi. Welcome to my second Yara rule creation session. Uh, I thought it would be a good idea to, to show you um, how I would create a Yara rule from scratch. So no, uh, no, no commenting, no review of existing Yara rule, or refactoring of an existing Yara rule, but the creation from scratch. And I started to look at this report that I had on my um, on my thread research stack um, and started to process it. It's a report by Anomaly on Fin7 group activity with Windows 11 Alpha themed docs. <laughs> uh, and this includes uh, a Word document, userprogress.doc. Uh, we can try to find the samples on VirusTotal. It's one, one possible thing that we can do. Yeah, it's on VirusTotal, but we can also uh, try to find these on find one txt. We can also try to find these samples on, on different platforms. Let's see. For example, I use my tool Moonin to to discover these other locations and you see down here below the the main section you find these notices which tell you where you can find that sample also not just on virus total um, but also on malshare malwarebuzzer provides it hybrid analysis it's most most often it's shared there uh, or any run as well on inteaser it's inteaser or in intesa I don't know the right pronunciation, please help me here. Um, but they have also an analysis of that sample one could could look at. So what I do is I open up that sample in a hex editor. I've already opened it here. Um, and what I first do is I start a string search. So this is 010 editor, my favorite hex editor, a hex editor. The new beta version includes this this small minimap here on the right side. That's something that you do not have in the in the uh, current version, but only in the in the beta version that that has been released yesterday. So uh, don't try to look for it in your in your current um, productive uh, default version. So what we see here are these decimal encoded strings I would say because the the numbers are never higher than 255 um, I think they also mention this in in their report but I've just scrolled over it and I've seen this the uh, something telling me that it, there's a key and these are the values so if this is encoded I am um, not encoded sorry if this is encrypted in some form I think it would be unusable because the code would also always be different depending on the on the key. So the I would not include these in, in my Jara Yara rule. <laughs> um, but there may be there may be other strings included in, in that file that we can use. So I scroll down here on the right side. I use the page down to to scroll faster. Sometimes even that is not enough. <laughs> Like in this case, this scroll over these um, shorter string samples and see where where this changes. Here's where the first strings that appear that look more more usable, like the John string and the word data string. And the word data is something. This word data bin is something that I don't see very often. So what I do is, again, I use virus total content search to see if, ah, that's good, um, to see if, if this string appears in, in goodware, malware, to, to give, me a, give me a first impression if it's good enough to use it in the Yara rule or not. I see that there are some strange samples. Select word data. This looks like a false positive. But there are definitely some positives in here. I 
more false positives I would say but I I think I could use this string somehow maybe not as a specific string but include it in a uh, in a combination of other strings so word data word data word data I can reduce or l limit that search to to doc yeah I could use the header of the of these word documents uh, in in the Yara rule and and then um, combine it with word data dot bin let's see what the results are yeah, while while the search while while it's totally searching its database we can look for for other strings in that sample so there are some obfuscated function names and uh, comments that maybe just just used to to fill up some room in in that um in that VBA script let's see yeah more obfuscated we see string from char code something that could be interesting um, so I'll start to to extract some of the strings already for the for the Yara rule so I have this string I'll cut off everything that looks randomly generated we have some my co-worker oh. what did happen here? ah I know what happened okay so one string New reg expression string from char code. That's that's something that I like to test. So the, this returned only and only. You can't see it here, but these are the only results for this for this um, query, and that looks pretty good. I I would even combine combine these two um, values or. Yeah, the combination of uh, document header and word data bin to to try to try to um, write a rule that's that's just based on this. Let me see. Uh, I that was word data bin. So while the query runs in the background I word data bin I'll use ASCII and full word full word just to make sure that there is no no such thing like this or so there are there are no um, there are word boundaries before and after um, this string um, I think an underscore would still be a word but every other character would be a word boundary, so this should be should be fine. Okay, normally I would do this with jar again, the extract the header, but let's do it manually today. The header of this would be cf d zero condition eh? con condition and sixteen zero. CF D zero CF D zero correct and one of X and let's combine this or three of them. Oops. We do not have enough strings for this three of them part, but we will. So this is Let's see what it. Oh, this appears more often than I thought. JavaScript, okay. Yeah, this is JavaScript code. This appears in obfuscated JavaScript code. I did not notice that. That's 
that's weird. Okay, perfect. Obfuscated JavaScript code. A lot of it. And I, I have to say, I, I cannot avoid using Rivals Total uh, Content Search. It's such a great resource. And you we find like this this helps immensely writing Java rules to 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 test some of these strings against th this big corpus of data and and see if if it produces good or uh, good where matches or false positives uh, and good where matches which are false positives or matches on malware only this helps so much Grammarly JS. Oh my God, not Grammarly. <sighs> so they use this in some ways. I cannot use it for the um, Fin7 document um, detection because it's most likely not 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 directly related to Fin7. They use some kind of obfuscation here. Um, so let's see if we um, find more strings in our file that we can use I think I will I think I will split up this rule again and make one that that looks for the for the obfuscation I wrote one earlier this today which is number 1 in my first session now we'll use number 2 and it should match not only on office documents not that old old format but I want to use it let's see if we can find more charcoal ad charcoal ad from charcoal and charcoal ad Let's include charcoal ad as well. Shouldn't be used that often. Charcoal ad in combination. We, we use that in combination. Sure, charcoal ad is used very often, but uh, I mean uh, in combination with other things that we that we are going to include. What else can we find here? Substring zero combined with this one. These are just elements of which I think that they would appear uh, combined in that obfuscated code mm. let's move on a new shell L let's use this as well this one we use it with shell shell expand one Hmm. Uh huh. This is something that evaluates the milliseconds. WMI get object, and then that obfuscated function. Maybe we can use the WMI, but. Let's look on if we find something better. Sometimes I, I include strings and then I remove them afterwards again. FSO file delete, script full name, oi. This one as well. Let's include this one. Let's see if we find more. More of these. Send data. Mm -hmm. Script echo. Let's go to the end of it. I, I don't want to bore you. 
too much. This looks scrambled. Happens sometimes, sometimes we find. Let's go to the end. Aha. Uh -huh. And we get some. Let's see if we some have some wide formatted strings in here. Ah, we have word data bin also wide formatted. And project is document table. John. John, this looks interesting here. Let us see. There's a wide formatted John and win no W ten of 16 something I would what I did is I copied that not as string but as hex bytes and then we can also use we can also use virus total content search with um, what's it called curly brackets and then see if we can yeah these are the only samples uh, with matches and and that string I think it's very specific we can use that one that's Great. What I normally do is I include them in this form, like a specific string x, c means as code, and sometimes I um, I also include the what's this? Uh -huh. um, what I see in clear text. This is John and uh, zero B. Mm. No, something like that. It's just for someone that he has a, a little bit of clear text or a little he can a bit understand what what's what's used here as an explicit string with without using um, Cyberchef and hex decode or something like that. So what we tried here in the in the upper rule is to um, pin that rule to fin7 activity by the strings that we have selected, uh, by the word data string and the John string. Um, fin7 um, MS doc um, September 21, the first one. Yep. And then three of them does not work. <laughs> but let's see, maybe there is something. Can still. Yeah, maybe something right on top um, with that encoded payload. This is the this is embedded package with a key and that payload, which gets decoded later. Hmm. I don't think that it would be wise to to use this this code and the key has to has it's processed somewhere down down here and I don't think that it, that there is something static that we can look for in the in the header of the file so sometimes you can write a rule and look for a string in a certain section like this is pretty pretty up 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 in the file that's and with the position is, I have to make that you can s so that you can see it. Uh, the position is here within 3,000 bytes. So one could look for for sequences like like this sequence, but this is completely random. I would say, not no, I would say it's completely random and the key as well but maybe sometimes and this happens often we can find this key shared in multiple samples like here we have now we have two samples to look at i will open that one up Let's see 
Okay. What do we have here? It's good. Some it's good to look at at other samples that are similar to see if if there are overlaps that you can spot right from looking at it. No. There's also John and this string. We can use this. You see there is project this document and then a random string here at the end. Can we use something? Where that happened? I'm not sure if I would combine this word data string without anything else. What's this? Uh, Microsoft Office Word, home company. Home company, it's something that we can try to search for here and combine this with ah did we have something else maybe Doc for JS new word data bin. Let's see. Home company. Mm, yeah. Content. Yeah. In that combination it would also trigger only on these seven samples that we have seen so far. So uh, what I would do is I would combine the word data with a second string, this one, escape the backslashes, uh, S3 would be uh, the home was home company. Let's use this one. So either it's this one or we can use the ah it's pretty specific. S is pretty specific. Let's see how often this appears in files. What would you say? so often so we can use this one as well here down here I will trust yep this is asking three of them this 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 or this one or the if this one and this one okay no good enough good enough and this one down here it's not only two of them it's four of them yeah, four share share code milliseconds delete script full name. Let's try this. Let's try this. But what I do is I will show you at least uh, I cannot show you our internal interface, but I can show you how this would look in in virus total. I will copy them, insert, and see if. So what happens here is I, I will not wait for the retro hunt to complete, take too too much time. Um, but um, right from the start, you could identify rules that are completely broken. 
that are wrong in some way, like produce far too many false positives. In in this case, see, I would give it like two minutes to see if if they are if if you s if you see too many matches here on the right, then one of your rules is probably problematic. But in this case, um, it seems to to work quite well. Yeah, seems good. Okay, I think we will also share the rules um, with the signature base now that everyone has seen them. Uh, they I will make them public. Don't have to re rewrite them. Okay, that's it. I hope you liked it. See you the next time.